Hello and welcome to the Friends Historical Library. Today I'm going to show you a few of my favorite things. Uh, this is the death mask of Elias Hicks. He's a really important figure in the history of Quakerism and he didn't want to have his portrait painted during life. So after his death, even though the family said no, an artist decided to sneak in and take a plaster cast of Elias Hicks after his death. And we have it here today. This is a scrapbook from about 1872, and usually that means newspaper clippings, but in this case it means scraps of fabric. So this is a really exceptional item. It has a variety of different fabrics, but this is my favorite page. This is fabric worn by slaves near Winchester, Virginia, and it's really rare to see samples of um, clothing worn by slaves, so that makes this really exceptional. This is the anti-slavery alphabet. It's from the 1840s. And this is really cool because it's a book for children. And children's books tend to not survive because they are destroyed by tiny, eager hands. Um, but it's an alphabet book. A is for abolitionist. And it goes on through the alphabet from there. Uh, this is a piece of propaganda uh, encouraging women's suffrage. Um, and so there's a picture of Susan B. Anthony on the front. Susan B. Anthony was raised in a Quaker family. And then it has 10 pins and 10 opinions uh, why women should vote. And I love this because it's a mix of the domestic uh, with encouraging women to become involved in the political sphere. And there's a bunch of reasons why women should vote. Uh, my favorite one is because women are not all idiots, insane persons, criminals, and minors. 